Hi there. I'm glad you're here. I'm Sherry Thomas. And if you're feeling small in your career, like you should be leading bigger initiatives with a higher job title, a higher paycheck, I've been there. And so have most of my clients. I've been a Fortune 100 leadership and career strategist for the past 15 years. And what I teach are things you can do right now to help you up level your influence, your reputation, your self confidence, your career so that you can get the recognition and appreciation you deserve and you become the leader you're meant to be in this world. One of the biggest mistakes I'm seeing professionals making right now is leaving it up to their boss to promote their successes up the leadership chain. Why would you put 100% of your professional reputation in the hands of someone else, like your manager? What if your manager leaves the company tomorrow? Where would that leave you? Where would that leave your reputation? You need to own your reputation inside the company where you work. So yes, you need big results to land a bigger leadership role. But these days you also need something else. And that is you need to have a strong reputation with company leaders. That's the real edge. You need a strong reputation and a strong leadership presence with company leaders who can hire you or promote you or influence others to hire or promote you. Recently, I did a podcast about three internal moves you can use to build your reputation inside a company. And today I'm giving you three external moves you can use to build your reputation outside a company. Did you know that when you have a powerful public image, it can highly influence your reputation and career path inside a company? I'll say that again. When you have a powerful public image, it can highly influence your reputation and career path inside a company. So I'm going to give you three strategies to help you build a leadership reputation outside the company. And these are just a handful of the strategies that I give to my clients who are professionals moving up in their career. So here are three strategies to help you build a powerful public image outside the company. The first one is get published. Nothing builds your reputation faster inside a company than getting published with an article or a white paper or a nonfiction book. It doesn't matter whether you're a leader or a manager or an individual co contributor. Your professional experiences, all of your training and education, your technical expertise and skills, your leadership style, all of that gives you a really unique perspective. If you're not sure what to write about, think about this. Think about what if your CEO or your department leader asked you for three ideas to help another team be smarter or faster or more efficient? What would your ideas be? Or what if your biggest customer asked you for three recommendations to help their company get better results? Think about what are your areas of expertise? What are your deep experiences? What are your really rich lessons learned that could potentially help others, help another team or help another department? or help another expert. Earlier in my career, I was leading uh, an IT, I was, I was leading IT technical projects inside a Fortune 100 company. And I wrote my first book called Career Smart, Five Steps to a Powerful Personal Brand. And it didn't have anything to do with IT. It didn't have anything to do with the company. This was just a totally separate thing that I did. However, because I wrote that book, Within one year, I was invited to speak at three of our global internal conferences. And that helped me land uh, a leadership role in HR, which was way better suited to my passion. That was leading a, a, a global team to train and develop our company's 8,000 worldwide managers. So if you think about it, that was a huge rebrand going from IT program manager to HR uh, team leader for, for training and, and, and developing our global, our global managers around the company. And that was because I wrote that book.
I believe, I believe that's why. So great leaders want outstanding employees who are viewed as experts in their field. And many great leaders will guide you or, or at least respect you for your ambition to get published. Maybe they can collaborate with you or maybe they can provide input. Always follow your company's policies and approval channels. Make sure you talk to your manager and your manager's boss before you publish anything. Never include IP information. If this idea is new to you, um, I, might, I might suggest starting out with maybe an article on LinkedIn, publishing an article on LinkedIn. Pretty easy to do. There are also uh, a lot of high profile publications that are hungry for good content, like, like, like Forbes, um, Harvard Business Review, Business Insider, Fast Company Inc. I have resources and links on my website so you can go to yourleadershiplab.com if you're interested and want more. Just just go to my blog. Um, but but my final recommendation on this strategy of getting published is when you get pub after you get published, then include that link to your article or your book in your monthly reports that go to your manager and your manager's boss and other internal stakeholders. Build your reputation as a leader, and don't just include it in one monthly update in, included in all your updates the second strategy i want to share with you today is stepping on stage becoming a conference speaker provided the single biggest boost to my corporate career over anything else several years ago i was really really terrified i mean i'm getting chills right now just remembering this i was really terrified when my boss asked me to step in for him and speak at the Intel Developer Forum. That's a, um, at least at that time, that was a global event. It was attended by 5,000 developers and media analysts and top industry business executives from all over the world. But I did it and that presentation opened the door to leading one of the highest profile IT projects in the company. And I had a great team. We led the project. We exceeded, we had a big win, and that win gave me a 22% annual raise. Annual raise. Sometimes company leaders need to physically see us as a leader before they'll give us a leadership role. Let me say that again. Sometimes company leaders need to physically see you being a leader before they'll give you a leadership role. If the idea of speaking at a conference, you know, makes you hyperventilate, <laughs> first of all, I can relate. Um, you know, as your, as your leadership coach, as your career strategist, I want to stretch you. I, I do. I want you to stretch and grow. Um, but I certainly don't want to give you a heart attack. So if, if, if you really, really are uncomfortable, um, then maybe, maybe you could be on a panel at a conference, or maybe you could moderate a session, do something, do something, work with your manager and your manager's boss for permission or input or funding. And, and if they can't fund you, consider paying for it, for it yourself. Stepping into a higher leadership role may require you to invest in yourself. Just do it. Let your company leaders see you being a leader. And the third strategy I want to share with you today about building a public image is by far join a, join a board of directors. Prove to your company executives that you already are a leader by joining a board of directors for an industry or a profession or an education or a community board of directors or a nonprofit board of directors. I have more resources for you to get you started on my website if you're interested in this. But investing, you investing two to three hours a month on, on being a, a member of a board of directors, they can have huge payoffs in your career. One of my clients, she successfully rebranded um, her technical role to marketing. 
partly due to, I, I encouraged her to join the American Marketing Association, the local chapter board of directors. And so she did that. She performed really high quality work. And then she was able to get a recommendation from a senior level board member. Many boards of directors, I want to say all, but I don't know if it's all. I'll just say many boards of directors, you know, they want outstanding professionals. They want high quality professionals to help them up level their brand and their membership and, and build their finances and manage their business operations and grow their fundraising efforts. They have like all kinds of different committees that you could join. So in exchange for your time and providing high, high value and high quality work, what you get is you can expand your portfolio. You can expand your list of accomplishments for that year. You can add board of directors to your title. You can prove to company executives that you are a leader. Maybe you're feeling like these strategies, like, like you need to be more in order to do these strategies. I know that earlier in my career, inside that Fortune 100 company, I felt that way too. I felt like I needed to be just smarter or bigger or more accomplished to step into these public platforms and share my expertise. But it took me stepping out publicly and creating my own space as a thought leader to be seen as a leader by company executives, which in turn helped me get the leadership opportunities that I wanted and I've been craving. My point is you are enough. Meet yourself where you are and raise your hand to share your expertise, share your recommendations, share those rich lessons learned. You may get turned down, you may fail, you may, you may shake when you go on stage. It'll, it, it'll probably take some time, but your career is in your hands. Your reputation is in your hands. Own it, build it, drive it. Let me end this podcast with a question. What do you need to step out and share your expertise publicly? What would stop you from, from implementing these three strategies? Do you need approval? Do you need someone's input? Do you need someone's validation? Whatever it is, go get it. Go get it. I've seen so many success stories from my clients and my own personal experience, that I, I fully believe that when you step out authentically and humbly and in the spirit of you, you really are trying to help others, that's when you'll be able to step into the leadership role you're meant to have in this world. I'm Sherry Thomas of Your Leadership Lab. If you want personalized strategies with immediate steps to help you raise your career, or rebuild your career or switch career tracks, then you can check out my personal strategy packages and my website at yourleadershiplab.com. That's yourleadershiplab.com. This week I'm giving away a free leadership tool. That's my leadership career scorecard. And when you download it, you can, within five minutes, it'll show you how company leaders are measuring you for a potential promotion. You'll also be able to see your pattern of growth and your pattern of influence and, and identify what your hot spots are right now that you need to jump on. Um, but that's this week. This, that's my tool for this week. So that's yourleadershiplab.com and that's where you can grab your personal leadership scorecard. I'm Sherry Thomas and I'm here to help you up level your career.